اشترك في القناة وفعل زر الجرس ليصلك كل جديد. All right, let's just jump right in. We're about to tackle one of the most frustrating parts of mental math. You know the one I'm talking about, the seven times table. But don't worry, because by the end of this, you're going to have a surprisingly simple trick to master it for good. I'm guessing most of you are nodding along right now, and if you are, trust me, you are not alone. For whatever reason, multiplying by 7 just doesn't click the same way multiplying by 5 or 10 does. It's kind of famous for being a mental roadblock. So let's start there. Let's figure out why this one number, 7, can be so tricky. What is it about this particular number that trips so many of us up? I mean, it's just a single digit, right? But it's the one that often makes us pause. Unlike the twos, which is just simple doubling, or the fives, which have that nice, clean five-zero pattern, the multiples of seven can feel totally random and tough to memorize. But hey, that is all about to change. Okay, get ready, because here it is, the big aha moment. The secret isn't about memorizing more stuff. Nope, it's about breaking the problem down into something you already know how to do. And that's it. That is the entire secret. We're going to stop thinking about the number 7. Instead, we're going to start thinking about it as 5 plus 2. And with that one simple shift, you can turn a difficult number into two of the absolute easiest numbers to multiply in your head. Now, to make this sound a little more official, let's give this idea a name. We're going to call it the mental repetition rule. So let's see what that really means. So the rule is really just a formal way of saying you take one tough multiplication problem, anything times 7, and you just split it into two really easy ones. Then you just add the results together. Here's what that looks like as a super simple formula. Now don't let the n freak you out. n is just any number you want to multiply by 7. So instead of doing 7 times n, you just do 5 times n, then 2 times n, and add those two answers up. That's all there is to it. Right, enough theory. Talk is cheap, right? The best way to see how powerful this is is to actually put it into practice. So let's do a quick example together. Let's use a classic problem straight from the seven times table, seven times six. Maybe you have it memorized, maybe you don't. But let's just pretend for a second that your mind has gone completely blank and you need to figure it out fast. Okay, we're gonna solve this in four incredibly simple mental steps. First, we'll apply our new formula. Then, we'll solve each of the two easy parts, and finally, we'll just add them together to get our answer. Ready? Okay, step one. We take our problem, 7 times 6, and we apply the rule. This immediately changes it into 5 times 6 plus 2 times 6. See that? It already looks so much less intimidating. Now for step two. Let's solve that first part. Pretty much everyone knows 5 times 6 is 30. That's the first easy part done. See? We're already halfway there. And step three is just as simple. We solve the second part. Two times six is just doubling six, which gets us 12. So now our whole problem is just a simple addition, 30 plus 12. And for the final step, we just add them together. 30 plus 12 is, of course, 42. And just like that, you've solved seven times six without ever having to actually multiply by seven. It's almost effortless. So you've seen that it works but let's just quickly touch on why it works so well. You know, what's the actual psychology behind this little mental shortcut? Well, it's so effective because it taps into a really basic problem-solving technique, breaking a big, complex problem into smaller, more manageable chunks. It cleverly swaps out the tricky sevens table with the two tables most people learn first and know best, the fives and the twos. The result is just a much, much smoother process for your brain. And that's really the crucial point here. This isn't about adding more steps. It's about reducing the mental strain. It completely reframes the challenge, transforming one calculation that feels really hard into two that feel incredibly easy. Now that you've got this cool little tool in your mental math kit, it kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? What other difficult problems in life are actually just too easy problems in disguise, just waiting for the right strategy to unlock them?